everyone. You guys remember our first painting in our Spray Castle pad? We're gonna go ahead and move on and do another one. For this next one, I believe I wanna do a sci-fi one. So, it's gonna create, I don't know, something like that. We'll see how that turns out, huh? So, remember with a little bit of black, you outline your planets. Next, you choose colors for your planets. I believe this first one, no, maybe this middle one. I'm gonna add some blue. Some white on top of it. And some green on top of that. So it should be pretty liquidy, if that's even a word. <laughs> Anyways, piece of magazine, tear off a piece, I'm going to use the liquify technique, and just go back and forth, and mix those colors together, give you a pretty unique texture, nice, I like the way that came out. For this bigger planet, we're going to go ahead and add some more vibrant colors. Some yellow, some orange, Techniques on these these two planets, so that you can see what uh, different effect you can get just by mixing up your colors a little bit. I mean, see, compared to this one, this one's pretty vibrant, pretty colorful. So experiment, guys. Have fun with it. Okay, I'll show you a little technique that that we like to use sometimes in a spray castle. Right here at the very top of this planet, I'm just going to go ahead and a little bit of white. So it looks like it's a pretty shiny planet. See that? I'm going to do that to that other one as well. Don't forget though that we also need to use a darker color. Just like so. Now we're going to wait for this to dry just a little bit. It doesn't take minutes. It takes seconds for it to dry uh, before we move on and put our put the cap on top of it. That way, when we remove the cap, it won't leave, leave a ring around the planet. I uh, will use some red, a little bit of orange, and some black. Now when you remove the black, the red and orange should come out pretty vibrantly. vibrantly. <laughs> <Burr, burr, burr. laughs> Alright, let's do that right there, just like so. See that? I like that. Now we gotta be consistent. So, there you go. This should be ready now. So we'll put this, make sure you get some of the black. It's important you get some of the black. Just drop it. You don't have to put any pressure on it. Now, let's add some darn to this one. And some dark. That one. It's a little bit of practice, guys. To be able to do put the black without, you know, getting the other planet. Alright. So there we go. Now I'm gonna add some colors. Just some random colors. Blues. Some oranges. Right. And some red. Red stands out the most, I believe, in paintings. Red is very touchy color. 
Uh, if you use it on landscapes, you've got to be very careful with that one's red. As well as purple. But I'll get more into detail about that later. Alright, now make sure you get your planets around your planets pretty well. Now, see the colors? Of course you do. Well, we're just going to go and not cover all of it. Just certain spots. See, making it look like a cloud. See that? This is like a nebula. Alright. Now with the white, you guys remember how to create stars, right? It's not going to be too bright, it's going to represent like it's off in the distance. Just like so. Maybe another one back here. folks. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time.